Yo, with this cool talk, we're back. Hope that all you guys are doing well. In this tutorial, I'll be breaking down how you can create this body part cutout collage effect inside of After Effects. It's pretty similar to my last tutorial, but I'll be going through it in a different way and kind of a different style because the last one was on an object and this will be on a person and its body parts. And like always, I'll be going through everything step by step and not gatekeep anything. So let's jump right into After Effects and get into it. Yo, real quick before we get into it, I just want to give a quick shout out to my shop, Lurkin Visual Sauce Store, where I sell all of my editing presets and assets that I've been using for years while editing music videos. I got some crazy preset packs for both After Effects and Premiere Pro, and I also have some overlay packs for all softwares. And all the presets that I sell are my personal ones, so I've been using them for the past four years to work on some crazy music videos. But enough of that, and let's jump straight into the tutorial. So right here, I got my clips from this Kenny Hey Me music video. I've been using it a lot in my tutorials, but there's really some clean clips in here that are easy to work with. And as you can tell, I got a lot of different layers, so I'm already kind of prepared. And what I did was I just went through the whole music video and picked all the shots from this angle and from this kind of scene so I can use that. And that's basically what we will be working with today. So the first step will basically be to get your clips ready and cut them up. So I have them ready for this effect. And then what I'll be doing is select the first one, drag it over right here. And then I'll start with this left eye right here and I'll use the rectangle tool up here. You can either press Q on your keyboard to select it or just press up here and then start masking out his left eye like this. Now I have this rectangle with this left eye and now all I gotta do is just center it to his eye. And if you want to get it as perfect as possible you can lower down the opacity right here. And then size it up and just make sure that it fits good. Then I'll just keep in the position and the mask path throughout like four frames and then I'll switch it to another clip so that's what I'll be doing and of course it's gonna move in this masked scene too so I gotta move both of them at the same time that's why I'm moving the mask path so now I'll just center it for four different frames just like that and then I can cut it right there. So now we've got four frames with this. And, and that looked decent. So now I'll grab another clip right here. And with this one, I'll be cutting out his right eye. Just like this. And then do the exact same thing for that one. Size it up a little bit just to make sure that it fits. And then just put it up there correctly. And I can actually cut the clip right here because I'm only going to use it for four frames and then drag it back and remove the masking from that one so I can use it later. Now for his right eye right here, I'll keyframe the position and the mask path again. And and I'll grab another clip and drag it over right here. And I'll also cut it at four frames and then drag it back. And for this one, I'll be cutting out his mouth. So once again, grab the rectangle tool and just start cutting it out and make sure that it fits good. And if it's too big, I can size it down using the mask expansion and then move it up a little bit. And that should be good. Now I'll be lining it up correctly and sizing it up just like that. And then go frame by frame and make sure that it fits throughout the whole scene. Now that I'm done with the first four frames, this is what it'll be looking like. It's pretty, pretty short. But what I'll be doing next is basically this exact same thing. But for the next four frames, try not to use the same scenes for the same body parts twice because that won't look as good. Now I just finished the next four frames and this is what it looks like now. You can tell we're starting to get there and then it's starting to look a lot better. Later on when we're finished, I'll also be adding on some finishing and touches and some extra effect and that will help us spice up the effect and make it look a lot better. So now I'll just keep going with the next four frames and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. Also, I forgot to mention that a lot of people like to mess with the subject's body parts and size them up and mess with the rotation just to give it a little bit of a funny look. And it doesn't take that long to do either, so if you'd like to do that, go ahead and mess with those parts too. Now that I'm done with the next four frames, this is what I got. And you can tell we're really starting to get something that looks... That got a really good look, 
and I'll probably do this three times more just to give it like a second to play because this effect is really time consuming but it looks really good when you're done with it but I won't be doing this for too much longer but I'll see you guys when I'm done with the next four frame and now that I'm about a second into the clip with these effects, I can tell that it's really starting to get the look. I'm actually going to add on some extra effects right now. So what I'll be doing is adding an adjustment layer. And onto that adjustment layer, I'll be adding a posterized time. And I'll be changing the frame rate to half of my frame rate that I got right now, which will be 12. And now if I play it through, this is what it looks like. It basically just lowered the frame rate for the whole clip including my cutouts but if you don't want to have it like this you can pre-compose all of your cutouts with the adjustment layer and it will only affect the cutouts and it will look something like this that would mess a little bit with the position though you can tell they're kind of off center right here but i'll be keeping both clips in the same frame rate just like this so what I'll be doing next is pre-composing all of my layers with the cutouts. So just select all of them, pressing shift and then select all of them. And then pre-compose them and press move all attributes into the new composition. And now that I've done that, I can cut it right here where it ends. And the first effect that I'll be adding on is a curve. And this curve is strictly just to bump up the brightness just like this. So you can have this kind of paper cutout look. It stands out a little bit more with this effect on. So that's why I added it on. And next up, I'll be adding on a grain effect. I'll be use and I'll be using the add grain effect and drag it on to the pre comp right here, and then change the viewing mode to final output. And as you can tell right now, it's a lot of grain. So I'll be turning it down to my liking, which will be somewhere around 0.25. Now if I play it through it looks a lot better and gives a lot of more texture to it. And if you have like some kind of paper texture or some mixed media textures that often come in packs you can add them on too. It would definitely look really good with that. Next up I'll be adding on a half tone effect from Sapphire. If you don't have Sapphire I don't think you can do this part. But for this part I'll be bumping up the dots frequency to somewhere around 400. This should be good and if you like this black and white style you can keep it like this but i'll be changing the mask layer to my pre-comp and now we kind of get this normal look with these kind of dots right there and i think it looks a lot better give some more like paper magazine kind of textures and the dots aren't too visible in real time it just gives it a little bit more personality in my opinion so this looks really good and i'll be selecting all of my layers and pre-compose them into one and just add some finishing touches which will be some kind of shake and I'll be using my own shake pack which is dropping on Friday it has all of my essential shakes that I'll be using in all of my music videos I got some kind of trippy ones and some more basic ones all in the same pack so if you're watching this after Friday it should be out in the link in my description now after adding on a subtle shake this is what it looks like and I'm really happy with the result and I hope you are too and like always I got some crazy packs linked in the description so if you're a music video editor trying to level up your workflow or just get some fire presets and overlays make sure to check it out and like always leave a like and subscribe and comment if you have any effects you want me to break down because I'm posting daily right now so now would be a great time but have a good rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one